Congratulations, David. Through to the fifth round, how pleased were you with that performance? Well, first and foremost, we're delighted with the result. When you're playing cup competition, it's that that's the most important thing. Um, you know, to make sure that you your numbers in the hat for the next round. We, you know, we've done that, which is good, and we've done it over the, just the one leg, which is good. We don't really want to be in a situation where, um, you know, where we had to throw another game in it. We've got a game next week um, against QPR. The week after that, it's international week, which all our players will, the majority of our players will disappear to. So. To have thrown in a cup replay and wouldn't have been great for us physically, but if we'd have, we'd, we'd have had to do it, we'd have, we'd have taken it. Um, but no, as I said, we, we, we're delighted with the result, and it's when you do get the result, you, the next thing you look at is the performance, and I think that was there in abundance today. It was a, um, a gritty um, performance, competitive. We battled hard, we kept the clean sheet. At the same time, as well as you know, producing some good football at times. Um, Tony Pulis described the attitude as first class from the City team today. Would you go along with that? Well, I, I, I would, but it doesn't surprise me. I think our attitude's been like that all the time. Um, we haven't had a situation where all season where we've, we've, we've had to question our attitudes. We've been tremendous in terms of that. Um, certainly in the last couple of months as well, we've been exceptional in terms of our performances, the way we've gone, we've gone about games. And how much of a blow was it to lose from some company so early in the game? Yeah, it's a blow. I mean, not so much because of the game. I mean, you've just got to deal with that as and when it comes. Um, you deal with it by putting a substitute on, by looking at what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. We did that. Um, it didn't disrupt us too much in terms of the performance. The disappointing thing is that we'll be out without him now for a period of time. We don't know how long that will be until we, we regroup tomorrow um, and assess the gravity of that. But he certainly won't be playing on Tuesday. We have to ask her what were you and Roberto talking about for so long before the substitution? Uh, really about what we were going to do. I mean, you know, we, we, had, um, you know, we had a centre-half, Karim Rekic, on the bench. We could have put him on. Um, but at the time we were just thinking maybe it was, it was quite wise to go to a three to just try and get an extra player forward really and um, we've done it several occasions this season with uh, um, by, by playing you know, Pablo and, and Gale in, in, in as a back three um, so it was really whether we were going to do that or just you know straight swap with Karen we decided to go with a three um, but then when we in the second half when we bought Sergio on we effectively we had three attackers on the park plus David Silva and we felt that we needed a more solid base at the back that we didn't have to you know, um, get extra players forward because we already had them forward, so we dropped Yavi Garcia back. And uh, Pablo is having an exceptional season um, and he came up with the goods again today. Well, I mean, he often, you know, players like Zaba go under the radar, people don't appreciate him as much as they should appreciate him, you know. I mean, he's, he gets into those positions and he scores, you know, he, he can he scored a few goals from those positions, but it's his all-round play. I mean, he's a tremendous asset to us. And then just finally, any preferences on the next round of the draw tomorrow? None. Um, can't control it, so therefore, you know, what we get is what we get. Brilliant. Thank you very much, David. Cheers. Thank you.